hello, good morning, and welcome back to Daily Raw Reel unedited vlog and I literally started this vlog just to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast because I realize a lot of people don't know about a good old chippy sandwich all you do get a bread roll get your favorite oh that's not it get your favorite chips I didn't know what these were I bought them for the first time kind of look like grain waves chuck it in and then oh this is a mess don't wake up I'm so glad I found this video that's the worst start to a video ever. I'm so sorry about that. Bun fell apart, chips fell. We're going to do cool stuff with our day. Stay tuned. All right, so fast forward a bit of time. We've got a whole bunch of admin stuff. Laptop's actually turned off now because the gear is on, the bag is packed, the ball is out, and we are heading to the pitch. We're going to go film some content, which I'm very excited for. And as always, you guys are coming along. All right, just like that, we're all packed. We're ready to go to the pitch. So I will see you all there. And just like that, we're at the pitch, and this is the first clip I've filmed, but I have been filming videos. But the problem is, there's a lot of people down at the park being school holidays. So I'm in the furthest goal, and behind this goal, there's a river. And there's no net on the goal, so I've pretty much, like, scored a banger. It's skimmed the crossbar, and it's run all the way over into the river. And now, my boots look like this, my socks look like that, and the ball looks like that because the ball literally went into the river down below and I was like, I was like this, like fishing it out with my foot in the back and everybody's looking at me and I, yeah, I don't like it. As I told you guys, I scored a banger. So that's one video done, literally. I just wanted to shoot, but this isn't the place to do it when you've only got one football and a goal and a river. It's, it's not the option. So we're going to do no more shooting. I filmed a sound effect that I needed for another video that we've got to edit and I might just do like some tutorials or some chill stuff. Honestly not too much because it's not ideal but we'll just have a bit of fun. So I don't know when I'll update you guys next. I really want to hit the crossbar for you because every time I come to a football pitch I say I'll give it a try. But again, I don't want to run into the river. So instead, here you go. If I miss this, oh that's even more embarrassing. Sorry, give me, give me one more attempt. There we go, crossbar. Alright, I've got an idea. For you guys, for the vlog, I'm going to do one of my traditional how-to videos. We've done how to whip a ball like Messi, we've done how to flick flack. So I'm trying to think of what the next skill should be, but I'm thinking maybe we do something a bit more simple for everybody that's learning football. It's a common skill that everybody wants to be good at, and that's just juggling. And we can break it down into a few simple steps to help you guys do it more effectively and more consistently and easier. So let's get into that. Step one, the first thing we're going to talk about when you're learning how to juggle is what part of your foot you're looking to make contact on the ball with. So ideally you want to be striking on the top of your foot, around the laces area. You can use the toe of your foot, it's a bit more technical, it takes a bit longer to learn. But when you're juggling it's important to have your toes pointed. You see a lot of people try to juggle like this because they don't want the ball to go away from them. They want to keep it coming back towards them. But as soon as you're doing that, you're not giving a flat surface for the ball to bounce straight back up on. All right, so from here, the next step is to just get a feel. I hope you guys can hear me by the way. I'll try and yell a bit. It's just get a feel for the ball and for the action. So the easiest way to do this is just you drop the ball, let it bounce, and then kick it up and catch it again. Simple as that. Do that a lot of times until you get comfortable with it. And then from there, all you've got to try and do is drop it straight out of your hands and kick it up. Simple as that. This process you want to get good at doing. You want to be able to do this repetitively as many times as you need to without messing up before you move on to the next step. It's about moving slowly and steadily. Next up, you're going to do a kick, you're going to let it bounce, and then you're going to do a kick, and then you're going to do a catch. This ground's so uneven, I don't know if I can even do this. But again, you want to do this consistently. And when you're learning to juggle, I would recommend that you do it with both feet. Because it will help you a lot in the long run. This crowd, man. Next up after that, you just want to remove the bounce in between. And this is when it starts getting serious. But can you do one, two, catch? One, two, catch. And then you up it. One, two, three catch but doing it with control and catching it is so important otherwise you see people juggling like this and running around everywhere trying to keep the ball up having control and being able to stay in one place is so important and that means you'll be able to eventually do it for as long as you want with no problems at all 
And then a little bit of added extra for experts. Once you're comfortable juggling alternating foot, I always say juggles don't count unless they're alternated foot. So when a kid tells me, oh, my juggling record is 75, and they've done 75 with their right foot or 75 with their left foot, I say, that doesn't count, your record's 32 and a half. But really, so if you're going left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot, whatever, that is when I count that as juggling. You've got to be able to use both parts of your feet. For the experts, if that is too easy, there is a thing called Maradona 7s. I might save this for another video, but what it is, or also known as a Christmas tree, you go right foot, right knee, right shoulder, head, left shoulder, left knee, left foot. And it is a super challenging drill, but it's really, really valuable in terms of using all parts of your body and being able to put the ball into places and keep it in control. So that's a great one for you to do. You can also do insides, you can do outsides, you can do variations, you can do two lefts, two rights, add thighs in, etc, etc. So there's so many. If you know any other drills that I haven't mentioned which are great for your touch, drop them in the comments down below. Uh, this camera's so far away, and sorry I'm squinting, it's just sunny, the hair looks bad, oh. Guys, I've just checked socials, I'm such an idiot, I forgot today is Arsenal vs City. 7.30 tonight, I'm such a muppet. Oh, it's a massive game, this is going to turn into a match day vlog. Just like that, I'm packed up, we're heading back home from the pitch. It's actually been such a lovely day outside, it's been so enjoyable to be out on the field and kicking a ball. I am worried though, I think I'm going to need to buy a new one of these cameras to be safe because just then again I had the same problem turning this on to get it recording. So that's a bit of it. A bit of an issue? What am I trying to say? A bit of an issue. Got lots of people looking at me vlogs, so I absolutely love it. But we're going to head home, we're going to chill, edit as usual, there's always more editing to do, a bit more admin, and then we're going to get set up for the big game! I'm actually buzzing now, I forgot it was even happening, I'm so excited. Usual problem when we're going to watch an Arsenal game, Holly's home by the way, hello, is picking out what jersey, and she's a big game, so... Oh, we're retro. Oh, this is my bad. Yeah. Alright, the jersey is on. It has been picked. And we're on the move to the pub to watch the game. Holly loves watching Arsenal games, don't you? Yeah, it's my... the reason I exist. Oh, nice. <laughs> Here she is. The pub. It's game time. Let's oh, go. Falling this game. <laughs> here we are. We're in the setup. We're literally pretty much the only ones in the courtyard out here. Everybody's inside because they're cold. But no one's ever into it. Well, we get to watch the whole team, and you guys get to see me vlog, so unlucky for you or lucky for you? You decide. But also, you already know the result. I was going to say, comment below who you think wins, but whoever wins this game is in a great position to win the league. I'm going to score prediction. I've got to back the boys. I've got to win back the Arsenal. I'm going to win the league. I'm backing Arsenal. 2 1. What do you think? Edge score prediction. I think 3 1. 2 Arsenal. Yeah. I love that from you. Alright. Let's see what happens. Guys, I'm actually so nervous about this one. I don't know. This is the most nervous I've been in a long time. Kickoff just gone. Let's oh, see what happens. By the way, Jorginho is starting. Huge call. This should have gone in the goal. This needed to go in the goal. 21 minutes in. Oh. down. Tommy Arsenal tried to play back to the keeper, gave the ball away. De Bruyne up. 24 minutes in, this is a big climb now. Is it a penalty? Penalty's just been given. Oh, oh, oh come on! Absolute scenes. This is what the penalty is for. It's a foul. It's a foul. It's a, it's a card as well. It could, oh, oh, it, could, it could be a red. It could be gone. Saka to take it. Come on. Come on, Saka. I absolutely love the fact that Arsenal back Saka in the table. I absolutely love it. Such a long wait. My heart is beating. Come on, Saka. I love it, what a player. One all, 40 minutes in, game's back on. Yeah, how excited you are. Oh, yeah? All right, there it is, half time, one all. Oh, my heart is in my mouth. Is it, anybody can take this game. I think, 
Who do you think played the better first half? We did. Saka. Just Saka alone. <laughs> Saka's our favourite. We, I think we had a good half. It was one mistake that cost us. But I think we're troubling them a lot more. So, see how the second half goes. And there it is. The second half is underway. What is going on here? Arteta's just keeping the ball. And De Bruyne comes with shoves it. Jeepers. That's not good. Penalty and yellow card. Offside. Offside. And the foul started outside the box. So I don't reckon that's a pen. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. VAR review for offside. I think it's going to be our hope it's offside. What do you think? Offside? Yeah, he's got a big booty. It's definitely offside. That's not the reason why, but yeah, offside. My heart is beating so fast. He's off. Offside. <laughs> We got away with one there. That's the luck you need to win the league. Let's go. This was an incredible opportunity. Such a good opportunity. Then he's going to go. Always, always worried about City free kicks and set pieces. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is far too close for comfort. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Gets a touch, see you later. Pin, 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 pin. They haven't even gone to VAR for that. 80 minutes gone, 10 left to make something happen. Shit. It's 3 1. Harlan's been quiet all game. You said 3 1. Why did you say 3 1? I made a joke at the end saying it was going to be to City, and I think they did. Alright, it's time to do it. We're 89 minutes in. We need to take the B round. Not happy, not a smile. Normally it's a smile, but they will have to do it. And there it is. Full time, 3 1. I called it. You did call it. That's a shame. Couple, couple mistakes punished, and that's about the difference. Proud of how well Jorginho fit into the system, that surprised me, but not ideal. And just like that, we're back home. Still a tough result to take, but there is a lot more of the season to come and I'm still very proud of the way that Arsenal are trying to play football this season. Even though a couple mistakes cost us, we're playing it our style and we're not changing it for anyone, which I'm a big fan of because for the future, that's going to put us in very good stead. So, I'm going to stop talking because today's video, again, has probably been a long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've forgotten what we've done today. We did a juggling tutorial, hopefully that was helpful, then we watched the game. But if you watched this part of the video, comment down below, juggles. And thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.